Hey guys, TechieKHD here again with another video, and it has been a little while since I've made one of these, uh, the specific style of video, and uh, that was because I was on vacation, and also because uh, the jailbreak for iOS 7.1.1 or 7.1.x for the iPhone uh, 5S, as you guys can tell by the flash, uh, was not out, but now it is, and my device is jailbroken, as you can probably tell, I'm running a theme on my device, uh, but the purpose of the video today is to tell you guys my top Cydia jailbreak tweaks for iOS 7. 1.1.1 plus now this works with all devices and the jailbreak tutorial if you guys would like to learn how to do the jailbreak can be found in a link in the description and possibly in an annotation on screen right now uh, but anyway without any further ado let's get straight on into the video Alright guys, so the first tweak that I'm going to be showing you guys is called Interactive Message Notifications. Uh, now this is actually a feature which is going to be found in iOS 8 once it comes out, and for all of those of you who are running the iOS 8 beta, you probably already know how to use this. But for those of you who don't have access to iOS 8 or may not want to update because you want to retain your jailbreak on iOS 7.1.x, uh, this is a perfect tweak for you guys. Now essentially it gives you the exact same functionality that the feature in iOS 8 gives you, but you can get it by downloading it for free in Cydia. Now, let me just quickly unlock my, or rather, just open up messages and send myself a test message um, by typing test. And as you guys can see, after I send it, I'm going to exit out to my home screen and I will be able to reply straight from the banner. So let me hit send and exit out to the home screen. And as you guys can see right there, I, if I pull down on my banner, I can actually reply straight from here. So as you guys can see, let me just focus in a little bit and type in... Um, awesome and hit send and of course I will show up there but also again over here and all I have to do is swipe down uh, to reply and it's as simple as that it's, it's really cool it works very well uh, and I would definitely re recommend checking out this tweak Alright guys, so the next week I'm going to be showing you guys is unfortunately iOS, or rather iPhone 5S only, but hint hint for those of you who might be looking into getting the iPad Air 2nd generation, uh, whenever the jailbreak for that comes out, this might actually be compatible with that as well, and that is because it requires the Touch ID sensor. Now this tweak actually lets you lock applications and then use your Touch ID or your fingerprint essentially uh, to unlock the application in question. Now I've done this for a couple of applications on my phone which I don't want people to access, without my permission, uh, such as my box, which is essentially just Dropbox, but it gave me more free storage when I signed up, so I used that instead. Uh, so as you guys can see, when I tap on box, it actually gives me an option here to authenticate my fingerprint, and if I don't do that, if I hit cancel, I basically cannot open the application. So if I just tap on box here uh, and scan my fingerprint, and it does give you a nice little animation there, it's going to let me open it up. Now there are a couple of op op uh, options over here in BioProtect that you can actually play with. For example, you can ask it to remember your unlock session which means that when you like double tap your home button and, and, and want to enter the application again you don't always have to keep entering your fingerprint to unlock it and it's just going to remember uh, that you had it unlocked for the session of course, you can also change the color of the circle depending on what device you have. I have the space gray, so I've kept it to black, but if you have the silver, you can change it uh, to the white and silver. And if you have the champagne gold iPhone, you can switch it to the white and gold. Uh, and I think that this is nice because it allows you to protect a bunch of things. There's a lot of different options here that you can play with. Uh, and overall, I would definitely recommend this tweak for those of you who like to keep your application secure and are running an iPhone 5S. Alright guys, so the next tweak that I'm going to be showing you guys is called Springtomize 3. Now this is essentially the one tweak for everything and that's kind of what it's marketed as uh, and it is again available in Cydia. Now Springtomize has actually been very popular in the jailbreak community for a very long time and it's recently had a redesign for iOS 7 uh, when the last jailbreak came out and it looks really really good on your iPhone, iPod Touch or iPad and allows you to customize a lot of different things in your device. Now of course I don't have time to go through each one of the options but if I just come over here uh, and just randomly scroll through these different options, you guys will be able to see uh, that there is a whole lot of customization that you can do, including changing your unlock text, uh, which uh, it should just pop up here on my device. It's going to say, uh, as you guys can see over there, instead of saying slide to unlock, it says open up. Uh, and let me just do that. Of course, just open up my device. Uh, and also, instead of having to download a separate tweak like Barrel, this actually gives you page transitions. And I know Barrel has some different ones, but this is actually, uh, I really prefer this in terms of the animations that it gives you and so I would definitely recommend checking it out. 
Alright guys, so the next tweak that we're going to be looking at is also actually an application and it is called 3G on Restrictor. Now for those of you who know, if you're trying to watch a YouTube video on your mobile data, it actually won't let you choose a different quality and it's actually going to play in low resolution which is really horrible for those of us who, has, who, are those of us who have uh, devices with high resolution screens, unlimited data plans and things like that. Uh, so the application that I use to, to actually help me watch my YouTube videos in HD when I'm on mobile data is called 3G on Restrictor. Now basically what this application does is it tricks the application that you're trying to watch or try to use over 3G into thinking that you're using it on Wi-Fi. So for example, this was very popular when FaceTime was not available over uh, a cellular network and people would generally tend to use this to be able to use it on that, making it think that it was on Wi-Fi. So all you have to do here is hit edit. You can tap a button here, uh, the plus button, and pick any application. Now, for example, I like to download uh, applications when I'm out of the house on mobile data, and a lot of the times the App Store won't actually allow me to do that. So of course, I'm going to come here and select App Store. So now it's going to trick it into thinking um, that I'm actually on Wi-Fi and it's going to let me download applications that are higher than 100 megabytes or something like that because they do have some strange limit for some reason. Uh, so anyway guys, that was called 3G on Restrictor. Alright guys, so the last week that I have to show you guys is called Side Elite 7. Now those of you who have used Side Elite in the past know that it is a really, really nice tweak because it allows you to delete Cydia applications without actually going to have to open up Cydia, uh, find the application or tweak, and then actually modify and uninstall it. It's actually very uh, time consuming and a bit of a hassle. Now what Side Elite allows you to do, as you guys can see here, is that it actually allows you to delete applications that you've installed from Cydia by essentially in the same way that you would delete any other application. Now, for example, here I have MX2, which I downloaded from Cydia, and if I shake to wiggle or if I press and hold an application to let them wiggle, uh, I can actually delete it straight from here. Of course, it's going to ask me if I want to delete it, and I don't really want to delete it because I do have some videos on there. Uh, but basically, that is the X, uh, or that is the, the extra functionality that Side Elite 7 allows you to use, uh, and it is actually spelt like uh, the way that it's pronounced. It's uh, Side Elite and then the number 7. And again, you can search for this inside of Cydia and install it. Of of course, I would definitely recommend keeping uh, Cydia on in the protected applications to make sure that you don't accidentally delete Cydia because that's going to render your jailbreak essentially useless. You won't really be able to do much unless you SSH into your device. Uh, and that's a really, really stupid thing to do, honestly. I would definitely recommend keeping that protected. So anyway guys, that does about do it for this video. Those are all the tweaks. These are my top 5 tweaks compatible with iOS 7.1.1 plus at the moment. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do remember to leave the video a thumbs up uh, or a like by hitting the little thumbs up button in the bottom left hand corner of the video. And for more videos like these as well as other unboxings, reviews, tutorials and much much more, please do remember to subscribe. It will keep you up to date with all my latest content and it also really does help the channel out. And a special hint for you guys is that when I hit 7,000 subscribers, I am actually going to be having a giveaway now this is going to be sponsored by a company and it's going to go out to all my subscribers internationally uh, and the product will actually be shipped straight from the company to you guys so stick around for that help me subscribe share my channel around so the quicker i get to 7,000 subscribers the quicker i can help give back to you guys anyway guys thank you again very much for watching and as always i will catch you all in the next video peace